And every single free choice you make arises from either a thought of love or a thought of fear. There is no other choice. And if I had one thing to say about what we're trying to understand here tonight, it would be, it would be this. That feeling inside of you, that love inside of you, that's God expressing through you as you. Yes. My name is Daisy, and I just wanted to say I loved your book. Thank you, Daisy. And I'm, I'm feeling like I finally understand what it means to be awake in my own life. Feels good, doesn't it? It's totally amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I walk around feeling like I've been given a secret. Well, yeah, the, the secret, secret is out. <laughs> <laughs> the problem I've been having is that some of my friends, even my family, if I say anything remotely spiritual, they get this glazed look on their face. Uh, and I know that look because it's the same look I've had or used to have every day of my life. I know exactly what that feels like. And the good, good news, news is, you're not crazy. Good. <laughs> we're both crazy. <laughs> and if that's the case, we're in very good company. <laughs> Instead of worrying about what people think about you, concentrate on what you think about you. That's important. Any regrets? Many. Care to name a few? You're not a lawyer, are you? <laughs> I wish that I could have come to this point in my life without hurting. I wish I'd come to this point in my life without hurting so many people, especially the people I've loved. But without them, I might not have come to this point in my life. See, it's important for all of us to remember that the universe is conspiring in our favor, always, and in all ways, despite circumstances and appearances, or most importantly, our perception of them. You've got a lot of nerve. I'm sorry? You're a hypocrite. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Standing up there preaching about God and love. You've been married and divorced a lot. If you talk to God, how come you can't keep a commitment with a woman? I can't tell you how many times I've asked myself that same question. The women in my life are all wonderful. They treated me a whole lot better than I treated them. I betrayed them. I let them down. I let my kids down, too. I admit that. More than that, I cannot say without invading their privacy, and that I am not going to do. What I can do is love as much as I can from where I am. To make every gesture and action sponsored by love. Sounds to me like you've written a book of lies. If what you're asking me is, did I make all of this stuff up? The answer is no. I've wondered what you're wondering. Will anyone believe me? Believe what I'm saying? Believe where this came from? And I, and I guess, guess that, that's, that's up, up to you, you. To, to each of you. I only, I only hope, hope that you don't disqualify or marginalize the message because it's, it's coming, coming through, through such a fallible messenger. messenger. My name is Kay, and I just wanted to thank you for admitting your mistakes. Well, thank you, Kay, um, and all of you, but the truth of it is I'm still making those mistakes to this day, and that's why 
these conversations with God are such a miracle for me. They, they came out of a need, a desperate personal need for me to change my life. And, um, you know, uh, if I've been successful at it in the way I'd like, I don't know, but, but it's the way it happened and it's the way it's, it's still happening. My question is, if God has one message, his most important message to all of us, and you could put it into one paragraph, what would it be? Well, I could fit it into five words. You've got me all wrong. 